Let's talk about what's in the box. First thing you'll have is your Matrite iView. You'll also be given power and USB cables and accessories like the chip clip and sample holder. You'll be given a cleaning kit and information packet, along with a black mat that's utilized for color measurement to give us a neutral background. There'll be a user manual CD with multiple languages and utilities for troubleshooting. Now that we have everything out of the box, let's connect the instrument to the computer. First thing we want to do is connect the power to the instrument. We want to have the instrument power up for at least 30 minutes. That warms the instrument up and makes it so it's acclimated to the conditions in your paint store. While that's powered up, let's look at some of the accessories. It's important to take the self-adhesive black mat and place it in a position where most of your color measurements will be taken. One of the things we don't want is light reflecting off of the countertop while doing a measurement. The other accessories, the sample holder and the chip clip, will allow us proper sampling for when we do custom matches. Now that the instrument is warmed up for a half hour, plug in the USB cable from the computer to the instrument. The found new hardware wizard will appear. Click no, not at this time. Click on the next button to load the driver for iView. Click finish to complete the process. Now that we've established a connection with the instrument, let's go into the Color Designer Plus software. To configure iView, on the main menu of Color Designer Plus, go to the Configuration panel. Click on Settings. When prompted for password, type in 1234 Unlock. On the left, click on Instruments. Under Instrument Type, scroll down to the bottom and click on VS205, the Match Right Eye View. The software will connect to the instrument. Options like sheen detection and averaging can be changed at this screen. These will default to the off position. You are now ready to custom match. The next step is calibration. Calibrating the eye view is important, and it's only done once a week. Make sure the instrument is clean and dust free. In Color Designer Plus, go to the Configuration panel and click on Calibrate Instrument. Slide the calibration plaque to the forward position. Click on Step 1, Measure. Once complete, then slide the calibration plaque back into its lock position. Place the instrument down on the black mat, then click on Step 2, Measure. The iView has many features and functions that will help us get the best color match possible. To do this, we'll use our sample holder and chip clip. The instrument has the capability of measuring a 12 millimeter or 6 millimeter sample. We simply slide the sample holder on the bottom rail of the instrument. This ensures that a color card sample is flat with no curved edges. For example, click on the color match in Color Designer Plus. Place sample underneath the sample holder, which now gives us active visual targeting for precise color measurement. When measuring very small color samples, place the instrument on its back and slide the chip clip on the bottom rail. The chip clip is used for the six millimeter aperture only. Never measure with the chip clip in the down position. Once the instrument is on its back, it automatically enables the small aperture setting for measurement. For example, click on Color Match and Color Designer Plus. Play sample in the chip clip, which now gives us active visual targeting for precise color measurement. Customers will often bring in inspiration items. They may bring in old paint cans, coffee mugs, pillows, or towels. Because iView has the aperture capability to switch between large and small, almost any sample can be brought in and measured, giving your customers the color that they want. 